Alright guys, so what is up? I tried to say in my last video that I uploaded that I was going to try and do some more stuff about vaping. And I did sort of a mini review on my setup. And I rewatched the video and some things were sort of clear, some things weren't. So I'm going to do another short video real quick. And I'm going to go in a full depth review. Full depth. Um, I also said in my last video that I was going to work on the lighting and stuff. A lot of that was bad lighting because of my camera. A lot of it was bad lighting because of where my lights in my room were. I fixed that with a few apps and some rearranging. So, with that being said, let's jump into this review. Today, we're looking at the Smock AL85. I don't know whether this is going to be mirrored or not. I have no idea, so bear with me. Uh, another thing in my first video that I posted, I was like, y'all aren't going to be able to read this, but you were able to read that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, this is the Smock AL85, also known as the Baby Alien. Okay, as you can see, it's got this little uh, inset piece that's the uh, charcoal gray, just like the uh, Big Alien. It's got the uh, Smock logo, the AL85, the little carbon fiber. It's not real carbon fiber. But it looks like carbon fiber. It looks pretty nifty. So let's get into this whole mod. Okay. Ignore the Addy I have on top. Let's get into the mod. First off, this is a single 18650 mod. You got a little cap right here. It screws off. A lot of people say they don't like these threaded caps. And I got to admit, I'm not a big fan of it. Holds one single 18650 battery. It goes in positive side down, which I can't really show y'all inside the mod. Well, maybe I can. It's got a red plus sign, and it's actually marked on the uh, cap here. If I can show y'all that. It's marked on the cap with little negative symbols on either side so that you don't get confused. Positive end goes down into the device. Negative end is the cap. It's got a little plastic liner in there. And a lot of people say that... Uh, this device doesn't have any venting, and that that's a con. Well, it's a regulated device. Hopefully, you won't be fucking your batteries up. I mean, single 18650, it's going through a chip. I don't really see any need for venting. I don't see that as a con. But for those of you who are like, oh no, I need my battery to vent if it shorts out, so be it. It don't have any venting. Uh... Simple smock interface. Almost every single device is the same. Five clicks to turn it on. Um, it's the AL85. This thing is a great device. It goes up to 85 watts. It's got temp control, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, whatever you want to run. It's got settings for all that. Uh, three clicks to... Well, it's asking me if it's a new coil, which it's not. But I'm going to say yes anyway because that adjusts the ohms. And uh, somebody's out there that's going to be like, don't do that, don't do that. Well, I do. I like my device to adjust the ohm for me because this also has a setting in it, which I will show you. Three clicks to get in. Let me go to setting. Okay. On click to select. Uh, you can actually adjust the ohm on here. I can adjust the ohm and make this device read this as a different ohm. Now, with that being said, I'm on... 65 watts, I'm on a .342, which will round up to about a .35 coil. Uh, this little device is great. 85 watts is all you're ever going to need. It comes with the Baby Beast tank from Smock. Um, I pretty much gave that away. It's one of the best selling tanks on the market. It's a great tank. I vaped on it for like a day just to try it out. It's a wonderful tank. I have nothing but good things to say about that tank, okay? Comes with a .6 coil, comes with a .4 coil. Either one is absolutely amazing, breathtaking, chucks the clouds. It's great. But, I like an RDA, so I chose one of my old Addies to stick on here. I gave away the Baby Beast tank. This is a uh, Wotufu, Wotofo, am I saying that right? Wotufu? Wotofo? I don't know how to say it, but we'll just say Wotofo for now. It's a Wodafoe Troll RDA that I've got on top of here. Totally different device. I might do a review on it later. I've had it for years. I love this device. It's great. What a great Addy to rock. 
makes an awesome little sizzling noise. Uh, I'm an RDA kind of guy. Back to the uh, Smot Baby Alien. It's shorter, one less battery, more subcompact than the full size Alien. Uh, same same exact screen display. It, it fits in your hands so nicely. I've got pretty big hands. I, I just it, my hands can wrap all the way around this. It's got the side fire button. That's how you fire. Um, it's great. You can swap between soft, normal, and hard hits. I've got it set on normal right now. This, this uh, tells you how many puffs, which I'm at 526 just for the day. Um, and the battery life, man. I can make it through a 10-hour shift at work. Not a problem. Not a problem. One battery. I carry an extra with me. Never had to use it. Great. Wonderful. Um, with an RDA on top, if you're ever going to build your own coils, no ohms law. Know what you're doing. Do it on a device, especially at the beginning of your coil building extravaganza. Do it on a device that's regulated. So if you fuck up, it'll kick out your coil. It'll be like, eh, eh, sorry. No atomizer. You should have luck. Do that. Um... Don't go building on make mods if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You will hurt yourself or others or many others or, you know, be the suspect in another. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, if you're standing in a crowd full of people and your device just explodes, you're probably going to wake up in a daze, probably hurting, burning, uh, got a lot of bad stuff happening, and you'll probably be surrounded by police wondering why the hell you just, like, you know, exploded a hand grenade. So with that being said, if you're going to build your own coils, do it the right way. Get a nice kit. Get a nice kit. I'll do that one more time. Just to pound it into your head there. Get a nice kit. Get a nice kit. Learn your shit. That's a good rhyme. Get a nice kit, learn your shit. That's what I'm going to advise you to do, okay? No Ohm's Law. Know how wattage, voltage, and... Uh, you need to know wattage, voltage, and ohms. All three of those. You need to know everything about your juice. What the PGVG ratio is. You need to know all that when you're building coils, okay? Just know your shit. Get a kit, know your shit. Um, that's my little safety speech on that back to the device this little thing's great and for me i know what i'm doing building coils i, I slapped a coil in here at 0.35 i'm vaping at 65 watts i love this thing i'm gonna take a rip off of it to show show y'all how rowdy it can get i love this thing so much how do you how can you hate that I've heard people say if they were stranded on an island and they had one device that they could recharge over and over and over, this would be the one. This little mod is great. And for the Addy that I've got riding on it, it's great with the tank it comes with. But if you want to stick an RDA on it, it's great. I recommend it. I recommend either the Twisted Messes, the Double Vision, or this Troll RDA. I've had a Doge RDA. Don't like the Doge. Sorry. Troll RDA is great. Troll, Double Vision, or Twisted Messes. One of those three. Any of those three will go great on this Addy. Just, or Addy. Mod. Any of those three will go great on this mod. This is, it fits so nice in my hands. It's got nice little buttons. The controls are simple. You can get this thing for next to nothing. Um, ah, God, I don't know what else to say about it. It's got a little USB charger on the front of it. I don't recommend doing that. Get you a nice battery charger for 18650s. Line you up about three batteries in. If you ever need a new battery, done deal. Fresh battery. Um, you don't even notice this thing is dropping voltage at low battery either. Like you notice, but it's not very noticeable until it's out, out. Then you get like almost no hit. It goes from like fully powered to nothing. But I mean, it lasts you all day. Last you all day. I, I don't get it. This little mod is great. Whatever technology went into this little mod, it's great. Okay, Smock is killing it right now. Um, that's my review on this, guys. 
like I said, I'll try and post like another review of this Troll RDA. Um, here's the coils that I'm going with right now. I got nice little dual coils in there. I don't know how well that's going to translate onto the camera. Uh, that's that's what I'm rocking. Okay, I've got some uh, Smoky Mountain Shine Southern Custard juice in here. Shout out to Smoky Mountain Shine. It's a juice made in I think Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Beautiful juice. What an amazing juice it is. Um, it's a little on the expensive side, but it's premium. You can get what you pay for. I think it's like a uh, ninety ten mix. I know it's not 70-30. It may be 80-20, but I'm wanting to shoot more around. It, it congeals up to around 90-10, somewhere around there. It, it's meant for dripping. I mean, it, it's it's such a good juice. The flavor is out of this world. comes in a lot of different flavors. You'll probably have to go to the website to order it, but it's great. Um, so shout out to them. Shout out to Smog. Shout out to Wotufu. Great, great stuff. This old baby alien mod. 85 watts it, it's a it's exquisite this mod is wonderful I paid $81 for this in a vape shop that's a little bit overkill you probably get it for cheaper if you just go to the website and order it and wait a few days or get it off Amazon or wherever um, but it, it's a full kit it comes with the baby beast tank which is a good value in itself the mod all you gotta do is buy a battery some juice and you're ready to vape me, I bought the mod fully knowing I was going to strap an RDA to it. Uh, I bought a kit, a brand new kit. I've got two different Coilmaster kits now. Um, shout out to Coilmaster, such a great brand. I'm not sponsored by any of these people. I just want to tell people the truth. And the truth is, these are all good products. This is amazing. This setup right here, even for a beginner, if somebody's got somebody, I just got a text message. If somebody has got a person who will build you coils, if you don't know, I just got two text messages. But anyway, if someone will build coils for you, they know what they're doing and you don't, even for a beginner, this is so great. So great. Like, uh, Anyway, I'm done talking. I'm done rambling. Go out, get you one of these baby alien smock AL85s. Beautiful devices. They come in an array of colors. Visit your local vape shop. I'm sure they've got them. They're all the rage right now. The alien, the full size alien, and the baby alien—they're just they're fucking great devices. Almost everyone I know has at least an alien or a baby alien. I wanted the blacked out version. I wear a lot of black. I've got a lot of black in my room. I like black. Um, even the thermos that I take to work—it's black. Um, that's just my style, you know. But just I fully recommend this device. This entire device, like I just I recommend it. What a beautiful, beautiful mod this is. Um, yeah, that's about it, man. I'm not used to doing these kind of videos or reviews, so if you're new to my channel, I'm probably going to post a few more reviews, probably on different e-juices, probably on, I'll probably post a full review on this Troll RDA in the future, uh, but until then, I'm Ezra, this is my channel, feel free to check out my other videos, if you like this video, pop that like button for me, slap it right upside its head, just show me in some way that you watched it and I'll be happy you ain't gotta like the video you ain't gotta subscribe just leave a comment and say you know hey dude I liked your video cool beans uh, that'd be great but if you want to subscribe you want to like it that helps me out too it means the world to me and as always guys I hope you all dreaming neon and uh, I'm gonna take a little sip sip one more rip off of this and I'm gonna end the video right there uh, I've been drinking a little bit of brandy and coke. Some good brandy. I should do a review on that brandy. $4 for a pint. Okay? You're thinking, oh, that's bottom shelf. No, it's delicious. Anyway, that's all the time I got for now. I'm going to hit this thing one more time. Matter of fact, you know what? For shits and giggles. I got a full battery in here. Let's crank this .35 coil up to 70 watts. And I'm just going to let it rip wide open. Okay? That's a lot of vapor. It tasted a little bit burnt right there. It's got plenty of juice on the coil. It tastes a little bit burnt right there. I'm going to knock it back down to, I'm going to dial it back to 65 watts. I think that's the perfect temp.
perfect little water setting. Oh yeah, flavor's perfect right there. 65 watts, 0.35, go get this device. Like, whether you're rocking a tank, an RDA, an RTA, whatever you want to put on it, it it's such a good mod. Hands down, it, it's just, it's balanced. I can sit and flip it around in my hand. It, it's, it doesn't rattle. It's no rattle at all. The battery's solid. The entire construction is great. The paint's so far so good on the paint. I've not had a single chip. No, um, like, you know, feathering on the edges or anything. It's just, oh, it's such a good mod. I can't say anything about it. This negative. The threading's a little awkward, but once you get used to it, I mean, that's... Just, I'd rather it be secure on there than not, so, I mean, I can't really even count that as a con. If it just kicked in and then kicked off, who knows what would happen to your battery. Maybe your device was sitting reset uh, over and over and over. I don't, I don't really know. Other than that, guys, just... The threading might be a con to some people. It's not to me. I like to know my battery's in there. So, yeah, this is perfect. I love this little thing. That's all the time I got. I, that's, I, I'm done talking. I've done said who I am. Y'all know what the channel is. Like, subscribe, share, whatever y'all want to do. It makes me happy either way. That's it. Take it easy, guys.